Okay, as you can uh, probably see from the, the images here, the Lockheed Air Express uh, has its complete uh, coat of gray primer. And again, I used the gray so that I could um, more easily detect any shallows, any voids, any areas of uh, where the finish didn't have the integrity I wanted. Uh, we're pretty good here. The wing upper and lower surfaces are pretty smooth. About as smooth as I can get them, I think, without, you know, sanding for another week. <laughs> and uh, I just, you know, this is about what I'm looking for. And again, um, there will be a an overcoating uh, now of the white uh, surface primer and prep. The gray, I just, as I said, I just wanted to use that so I could better see from the light shadow uh, where the voids are. Uh, because the airplane is going to get an overall white uh, paint, um, that racing white that I use, I'm going to put a secondary coat of primer in this time in, in the white, uh, this stuff here. So we'll be using uh, this primer overall. Uh, here's the cowling. As you see, I've dressed up the motor, I'm trying to get them to look almost identical. Uh, this will have red plug wires attached. Um, I guess there's probably not too much more detailing to do. Uh, we'll be painting um, this area black, just behind the prop and inside of the uh, circlet I made of uh, solder material. I put a similar one here, uh, just around the um, propeller hub. Uh, propeller, what do they call that? Anyway, it's the it's the part that uh, we mounted into the Williams Brothers propeller to hold the prop shaft, and I want this to look similar. So as you can see, the um, I've got a little bit of filler around the edges where the uh, engine had to be remated um, to the cowling. Uh, so that's been done, and a, a bit of filler applied around the edges. We'll just be sanding that off with the 400 grit wet dry. Um, to get a nice smooth appearance and then once that that's done again I can begin to uh, reprimer the entire air aircraft with the white uh, primer paint and filler and then we'll be sanding that and by then we should be exactly where we want to be with our uh, overall finish I've got both pro propellers fabricated uh, they are identical to each other Uh, one will be permanently install, installed to the cowling engine, the other will be permanently installed to the Williams Brothers motor. Again, the motors are removable, and that's just so that I could photograph the airplane in both configurations. I just wanted to be able to do that. And then at some point, I'll be fixing one or the other. Probably fix the cowling to it, depending on how that decaling works out. The decaling on the, cow, on the cowling, uh, the decaling on that is going to be pretty intense because of all the compound curves and because those are vinyl decals I got from Cali. So once I get those on there and can see how that looks, if it looks right, if I can get those on there and if they can lie down and and conform to those curves, what I'll probably do is mount this engine and cowling to the airplane permanently and then take this engine and put it onto the Sparrowhawk that's uh, waiting to be built. And, um, and that should all work out. Uh, that way. Um, you know, there's a possibility I, I could, you know, keep this running and just, just have both configurations for this airplane and then just buy another motor or fabricate my own engine for the Sparrowhawk. I might do that. I don't know. I don't know. I never know. From one day to the next, we, the ideas change. Well, right now, this is this was the look we were going for, the uh, ability to switch back and forth, take a few photographs of it each way uh, when it's completed, and um, and then decide what to do permanently after that. Um, the idea of having both of these laying around, one alternatively, you know, loose somewhere, either in my shed or or somewhere, uh, is not too appealing. I mean, it just means something's going to get lost or broken. But you know, that's that's the way she goes. So I'm still thinking about it. All right. Uh, hey, the uh, desktop looks uh, 
I was going to say clean, but no. A little neater? No. No, that's a mess. It's always a mess. Um, hmm. Oh, there we are. Uh, current status of our Dumas, Lockheed, Air Express, Gilmore Oil, Roscoe Turner, Parasol Wing airplane. Yeah, as I said, white primer next, and then uh, at some point I'll have to start cutting masks uh, to mask off the wing, cowling, tail, and landing gear. And then we'll be spraying colors. All right, we're getting close every day, a little closer.